Welcome back to Rip Impacts, baby. On today's video, we are going to open a shiny Zation Crown Zenith Premium Figure Collection Box. Of course, we did not pay the 70 bucks on there, y'all. But they're not cheap. You know, but for 10 packs, that's not terrible, y'all. For today's Poke Trivia, Magneton. When does Magneton frequently appear, y'all? When do y'all think? Anyways, let's go get our minds right and get ready to dig into this shiny Zation box. The last shiny Zamazenta box we opened was straight fire, so hopefully the luck continues, y'all. And we'll be right back. And welcome back. Anyways, y'all, let's dive into it. And the answer is when sunspots flare up. Not what I was thinking. I'm sure they probably mentioned that in the anime at some point. But I was thinking maybe like uh, lightning strikes or some shit like that. But it is what it is, y'all. Today we got a Smeargle box. I mean, I guess we can see what color the fucking thing is. I don't remember if we open one or not. This one is pink. There you go. It spins. I guess if I get the coin out the way, it spins like all the other ones. And get that shit out of here. And now, can we get... Man, is this like our second? It's at least our second, maybe third. Gossifor, Hollow, in a row... I don't think we've seen Flaffy yet. Maybe not Chen Chao either, but we have seen Cutie Fly. So there we go, y'all. And let's have Gengar do what Gengar does and lick, lick it, lick a luck, baby. Thank you, Gengar, for all the sacrifices that you make for this channel, brother. Jesus, man, I got this box. Reinforced or something, man. Like, all right, y'all. Sorry, no idea what happened there. Apparently, I tried to rip into this box too hard and wind up fucking hitting the camera or something and caused it to stop recording. So, hopefully, hopefully, it just keeps rolling like nothing happened. But I was saying something like, I don't know, man, something about the last box we opened to these was fire. Well, we haven't opened this one yet. We did do the, uh, the Zamazenta box. This is our first crack at the Zation box. And we do get the figure and the uh, shiny pin. And then we get our promo card, the shiny Zation V card, really nice, I've not opened this box before, so I do probably intend to add these, both of these to uh, my shiny, my shiny Pokemon card collection, and I'm surprised they didn't make these in a jumbo card, this seems like before the time frame in our sleeves. Seems like before the time frame of them deciding to do away with the jumbo cards. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought there was only supposed to be ten in here. One, two, three, four, five. Error box, baby. We got an extra pack. Let me confirm, y'all. But I'm pretty sure we just got an extra pack. Nope. My bad. 11 Crown Zenith booster packs for some reason. I was thinking it was 10. But there we go, y'all. At least we didn't get shorted. But 11 packs. Not sure why they did that. <laughs> Just make it 12 or 10, y'all. Why 11? Never heard of a product containing 11 packs of cards. What's the trick on Zenith? 
I'll try four on the first pack and see how it goes. Looks like four it is. And we got a great ball, a rare candy. Fuck Galarian Mr. Mime. Pattis. Pattis Pattis. But y'all let me know, uh let me know what y'all are doing today, man. If anything anything's crazy going on where y'all are, if this is Saturday. At the time y'all are watching it, I'm probably out yard selling, trying to find some shit to flip on eBay to make money to continue to be able to buy these cards for y'all's entertainment. I did, if any of y'all are into Yu-Gi-Oh, I did order a booster box of, um, uh-oh, something in here. I did order some of the 25th anniversary reprints of uh, the first couple of sets of Yu-Gi-Oh. Not going to spoil it and say what I did order. But you'll just have to stay tuned if you are a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Hatterene V. Oh, shit. And a Rotom V-Star. So we got an Arceus pack in our Crown Zenith box. I will take it. thought we had a Arceus box, man. For some reason, I was thinking these only came with 10 packs. But there was 11 in there. So, that Gengar look of luck coming through for us. And again, y'all, I looked a couple minutes before at what the top cards in this set were. And I have already forgot. So, <laughs> not sure what causes that, y'all. Anybody... Anybody has any idea why I can't remember? Holler at your boy and fill me in. Just kidding, y'all. We know why. We freaking know why. But let's let's keep this up. Look at that shit. I don't know if y'all seen that piece of that pack fell fell out from under the cards, man. The digging duo. Ultra ball. See if Ultra Ball can deliver us an Ultra Pokemon, man. Kyogre V? That's pretty cool. I don't know if this is a... I mean, it's usually not a V card. Unless it's a alt art. It's a nice looking card. I don't think it's anything crazy based off the numbers. But I could be wrong and this be the top card from the set. Hell, I have no freaking idea, man. Anyways, Kyogre. Awesome awesome legendary pokemon and we're happy to add it back here on the wall man so what the fuck are you doing bro we're opening your box and you're just gonna fall over like that i ain't shaking the table that much homie anyways let's keep it rolling why is he just sitting there rocking like that man are y'all seeing that zamazenta don't do that is the the sword too big for you, bro? Making you too off balance? Need it. Got something else in this pack and another digging duo, but. And maybe Crown Zenith is just straight fire, man. I've not opened much of the Zenith. It's pretty hard to find in my area unless you're, you're willing to pay up for it. Man. Dude, that's got to be one of the top cards from this set man that thing is absolutely gore and another rc and the zation v nor i'm guessing that's the normal art and then this is the alt art form of the card y'all or this is the okay so this is a galarian gallery is what that is y'all i figured out what that gg stands for instead of trainer gallery it is the galarian gallery Man, we have been pulling pulling some insane stuff, man. I do have two more of these. I've got one more Zacian, one more Zamazenta. And, bro, it is freaking hard. Like, y'all are making it hard not to open these, man. I really wanted to keep a box of each sealed. But... You know, apparently these things are stacked, man. I think Best Buy, or not fucking, fuck Best Buy, man. I think um, GameStop 
has these on sale right now if you're a pro member i think they're like 46 dollars it looks like we're gonna miss in this one friends and so y'all still let me know is that supposed to be red or the playable character and who the fuck is that it looks like he hates Barry as much as I do. A poo china. So we didn't get a miss in this one. Another hit, man. Devil, I'm going to have to open some more Crown Zenith, man. If anybody knows where I can get a booster box, if they even made a booster box of Crown Zenith, because <coughs> I've never seen one. I've seen some ETBs, seen some of the three pack blisters, and I've seen a lot of these and Zamazenta shiny boxes out there, man. I might have to go to GameStop and pick up some more of these, because this this is just insane, man. I can't wait wait to look that Zacian um gal Galar Gallery or Galarian Gallery or whatever they call it up. That's an alt art to me, man. That is not what that card would normally look like. In my opinion, and we did get a miss on that pack. Like, man, does anybody know what the hit ratio is for Crown Zenith? Yo, this is insane. Ninja back there causing that reflection. The Pokeball right on top. Unless that was the code card I seen down there at the bottom. Looked like we had something else in this pack. Thought I seen a black border. It could have been the code card peeking. Holy shit, man. Something tells me that's the top card from here. Fuck hop. Oh, it is an autographed hop. Another, I guess we can consider that a god pack, but... Holy shit, man. I do not... Okay, so that's a GG2. So this is the Gal Galar Gallery, Galarian Gallery. Dude, this thing is gorgeous, man. If this ain't the top card from Crown Zenith, like, what is? And it looks like it's pretty, pretty well centered. It's not crazy off center, but holy cow, man. This hop card is a hollow, y'all. It's not the, the reverse like we've seen before or... Um, I think there's some that aren't hollow or reverse hollow at all that are autographed. I don't know, but fuck Hop, man. He's so annoying in the game. I hate how they didn't show him in the anime until right when Ash and Leon were about to battle. And he fucking sucks, man. I hate Double or whatever his stupid sheep is called, but... Look at that, y'all. Hop card. Draw three cards. We were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't remember if that was this video or another one, but I do got some boxes on the way. At least a box. I'm still still trying to figure out which other ones I want to order. Invasion of Chaos is my absolute favorite Yu-Gi-Oh set of all time, and probably the box that I opened, or at least packs that I was able to open the most in my youth was Invasion of Chaos. Um, by the time I was able to afford to open more than a pack of cards a year or so, I was um, more into Yu-Gi-Oh than I was Pokemon. But I collected Pokemon cards. Nice! Charizard V from Crown Zenith. But I was a big Pokemon collector. I did not play the game at all as I've said before. But I did play Yu-Gi-Oh! An Invasion of Chaos holds a special place in my heart. I was really excited to see that they reprinted that set. I think they skipped a set or two, maybe. I don't think they're reprinting Dark Crisis for some reason, unless you buy the, the like silver box where you only get one pack of each. But they're not making a booster box of... Dark Crisis, which is another set I had opened a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyway, y'all, if y'all know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, I play a lot. I played a lot of the Chaos, like a lot of people did back in the day, man. 
dark and light monsters, um, you know, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Or did I reverse those? Man, it's been a minute since I've looked at, at Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think, yeah, Black Luster's the beginning, and Chaos Emperor Dragon's the end. But I used to love that, man. And Chaos Sorcerer, man, great memories. I did get a first edition um, Chaos Emperor Dragon back in the day that I pulled from a single pack for winning a tournament that I was rolling with d with that I won it, man, and just completely caught this guy off guard. It was so much fun, man. And then pulling that from my prize pack... And then I converted my deck over to Complete Chaos with um, Black Luster Soldier, CED, and uh, um, Chaos Sorcerer. Man, so much fun, y'all. I played so much Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. And it was pretty good, if I do say so myself. The Pokemon is always special to me, man. Regigigas V? Reggie Gigas. Don't know why I said Reggie. <laughs> that Reggie, baby. I don't fuck with that Reggie Millie. Just that Reggie Gigas. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get our last pack of Crown Zenith. I can't wait for, for that box to get here, man. I did get it off eBay. I am about to run down to a local card shop here and see if they got any in stock before I make another purchase on eBay, but I can't decide between Spell Ruler and LOB. Don't really want Metal Raiders, don't really want Pharaoh's Servant. I think that's the the only sets they print out. I don't think I skipped over anything, but I'm definitely getting that Invasion of Chaos. May wind up having to get another one, but we'll see what happens. And do we get anything on our last pack? Just a Mewtwo Hollow from Crown Zenith. But that's a sick Hollow, man. Love the Shadow Ball right there. Very cool card. Anyways, y'all, thanks for being here, man. These boxes are freaking insane, y'all. Look at the hits we got. I'm going to take the, uh, <coughs> the promo out. But we had 11 packs of cards, y'all. We got this amazing Giratina V-Star, this Poochina, the Zacian V, and the Zacian V alt art, I guess, y'all, I don't don't know, the Kyogre V, the Paris, uh, Galler Gallery, Trainer Gallery, whatever they're calling them over here, the Reggie Gigas, the Manfi Galler Gallery, the Charizard V, Fuck Hop, we're not going to count Hop, but the Hop Auto, and a Rotom V-Star, and a Hatterene, man. What is, uh, without counting Hop and the promo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we got a hit in every pack on average. A couple packs didn't have anything. We did pull a couple Arceus packs that were stacked with two hits. Fuck it, y'all. We'll take it. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next one, guys.